Hey everyone, this is Mark here with Discover Your Home and tonight I'm going to talk to you about uh, having a home gym, especially in this era of the virus that we're dealing with at this point in time. Sounds good. You might want to consider just for health reasons alone uh, number one, you're getting exercise. Number two, not putting yourself out there uh, in a in a in a gym setting. So uh, we think maybe moving forward that people will start moving towards doing some things that they can be able to work out from home. It's 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 an area that can be more contained. It's an area that you have more control over than than say somebody else and how how it gets managed and how it gets taken care of. So nice thing is. It, it's generally going to be a safer environment. You're not going to have as many uh, viruses because you're not dealing with as many contact points and, and different people that come in to an establishment. Not necessarily a bad thing. It's just one of these things. It depends on your personality more than anything. It's a time saver. You're not having to get in a car to drive off to the gym or run to the gym or bike to the gym. It's in your basement or an additional, say, say office or bedroom in your home. It's just just more convenient. Sometimes it can be a little more challenging because it is at home, but you want to make sure you have that time and you'll have less time to go and get to the place to work out. You'll save on membership fees, which can offset uh, your expenses on the, the items that you decide you want to plan on purchasing for your basement or office or wherever that is located in your house. So we're going to recommend, say, if it's in your basement, you want to put down some heavier mat flooring, uh, you can pick up these items at at your any you know like a Menards or Home Depot. Uh, they've got some of these you know half inch, three quarter inch thick, uh, kind of they look kind of like puzzle pieces that you can mat together. Have a nice uh, rubber mat floor. Probably put some additional lighting in. This will be able to in case you have a carpeted floor down there already, you can put on top of or say a. Uh, a tiled floor, you're not beating up the existing floor. So it's one of those things that you'll have, uh, you can take it with you when you decide to move. If you move, um, I'm gonna suggest maybe walling off an area, at least maybe putting some sort of divide between you and maybe another portion of that basement. So obviously you can focus on doing uh, your exercising. Uh, we want to make sure we, if we can, let's put some additional lighting in there. Let's put, let's try to make it as a setting that is very comparable to say a gym setting. You've got good lighting, maybe some mirrors. Uh, you've got some good machines, elliptical treadmill. Uh, you got a, a small free uh, free weight system. You know, depending upon what your needs are, um, you're going to want to have these types of items. Maybe additional outlets so you can say plug in your phone while it's there because we all know that our batteries run low at probably the most inconvenient time. So maybe having a uh, an outlet with USB attachments to it. So uh, television set so you can keep on up on current news and uh, follow some of the latest trends or just put on uh, music or or things kind of that will entertain you as we're as we're working out. So um, I would say for the most part, it probably would not hurt also to have some of the shelves, uh, maybe purchasing a small shelf area where you can get things off the floor. One thing about a, a gym that, that, that as a uh, younger man when I uh, would go to is I hated stuff that was always on the floor because it's real easy to trip over a set of dumbbells or a, a rope or just some of the small things, even medicine balls and things like that. Let's get it up off the floor and let's make sure it's on a table and out of the way so you're creating a very safe environment. And maybe even, depending upon the amount of size you have, maybe a small set of lockers or an area where you can kind of keep your stuff and everybody can keep it divided, say, amongst your family. So these are some of the ideas that we're thinking about. You know, if, if, you're, if you're a little more risk adverse and you want to decide to make a a financial commitment to you and your family of doing things, say, in your home as opposed to out in the marketplace. These are one of the ideas that, that we're, we're going to start probably seeing uh, post-virus and maybe moving forward. So I'm Mark with uh, 
uh, Discover Your Home. Thank you again for joining me tonight, and we'll talk to you soon. Thank you. Thanks so much for listening to this episode of Discover Your Home with your host, Mark Lotz. Online at LotzRemodeling.com. That's Lotz, L-O-T-Z, Remodeling.com. And on Twitter and Facebook, at Lotz Remodeling. We'll catch you next time.